Hi, hello, how are you today? Today I have a reading update for you. It is nearly the end of January and I haven't talked much about what I'm currently reading, so this is what I'm planning to do in this video, just to look back as to what happened towards the end of 2019 and then what I am currently reading and planning to read. There are also quite a few e-arcs I have received meanwhile from publishers that are going to be coming out shortly and I would also like to show them to you and talk to you about them. Now, I was up to date for the full year of 2019. I was fully up to date with my reading. I just had an ongoing reading and I just, when I started the book, I finished it either within the month or then in the following month. Now, in December, this changed. All of a sudden I had books that I had started to read, but stopped reading them due to this moment where I went into middle grade. And then afterwards it was like, the, 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 the interest was gone or like other books became more important or more interesting and so I made it to the new year and I had some books not finished reading and I don't want to DNF them so there are currently two books I started in 2019 and I'm still planning to finish. The first one is Xiang by C.F.E. Goulden. This is the second book in his Empire of Soul series. I started to read this book last year at some point I didn't, I was really just not in the right, right mindset to actually get into it. I let it go, but then I felt like I want to continue with the series all the same. Then I got hold back of the book towards the end of the year and I started reading. I made it through the first part where for the first time I stopped reading. I made it through that, but it's still like I'm still waiting to actually get into this you know, you know, you know me in series, you, ha you have this moment when you just feel drawn into the story and you just want to finish the book. And this book is is, a bit, is completely different to, to the first one. It has so many, so multiple perspectives and I feel it's possibly too many perspectives for the also of the, the size of the book. I mean, it isn't that long. And so, yeah, I'm really struggling with that. Also, some my reading situation at work has changed, so I no longer can use my e-reader to actually read at work. So the time I had previously to actually read uh, during work, I no longer have. And so there is like something I need to change also, become aware of what is actually happening and then find a strategy to actually get this book finished. The other book, I am also planning and wanting, definitely wanting to finish is Empire of Sands. This is the first books of Amba by Tasha Suri. This book first came out in the UK in 2018, published by Orbit. The second book just came out this past November and I really want to read it. Uh, I see uh, Empire of Sand has reached America in the meanwhile and there are quite a few people really excited about it and I really also want to know what this book is about, yeah. what would happen is also middle grade came in between. I started the book reading as a physical copy from the local library. I had to return the book. I got hold of it on Kindle and that's just like something that just stopped me again in my tracks. So there we go. These are my two leftovers from 2019 and I'm planning to get them right now as soon as possible. Then a book I just finished reading is The Gutter Prayer by Gareth Hanrahan. This is an epic fantasy, I would say, with a quite a unique setting. The whole story takes place in, a, in the city of Guerdon. We have a setup of three young thieves. They're all in their teenage years. We have a human young woman called Carrie. We have a young man called Spar, who got the stone virus and his body is now slowly turning into stone. And we have rats who is a goal and the three of them have found each other in this city and started like to form a friendship and then they are sent onto this mission by the leader of the brotherhood and this mission is compromised and things explode from there onwards everywhere and in quite a few different ways. I love the world that was shown in this book that God has so many dimensions, it is a debut novel and we go underground as well. What you cannot be for this book, you cannot be squeamish, but it is a fantastic read. Now, this is the first book in the series. The second book, The Shadow Saint, just came out. I received this second book from the publisher as a New York Vianette Galley, and this is one of the books I am planning now to read as soon as possible, getting started now, and see what how the story continues. 
then also still waiting for me to read uh, as he arcs are The King of Crows by Liva Bray. I got this also via Netgalley from the publisher. This comes out on the 4th of February. So I really have got to speed up my reading. Um, this is the fourth book in the Diviner series and I'm really, really excited for this release and to see what happens in this series and how it wraps up. Then there is the arc for The Mercies by Kyra Millwood Hargrave. This is her first adult novel. It takes us back into Norway I think into the 7th, 17th century and we have there an island that is mainly inhabited by females because all the males have gone out on the sea or for a war and then there is a male that comes back onto this island and things sound like they might get quite critical and stormy and interesting. Currently I am also reading, and that is also that is the book I'm really currently focused upon, is a collection of short stories. They are entitled Not So Stories. These are 14 authors of colors who have come together in this book, have written stories in reaction to Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories. They obviously confront and lay bare the colonialism and that is also held within this within the just so stories written by Rudyard Kipling. His book was published in 1902. Not so stories, just got a new edition now in 2020, and I'm really, really excited to read these stories. They from what I can from what I have read so far, they are hard hitting, they are tough, they talk about different subjects, uh, racism. Uh, what happens with power, abuse, etc, etc. But they are the two stories I read so far I absolutely loved and I'm really, really excited to see what the other stories are made up of and then also give you a full review on the not-so stories. On 1st of March comes A Sprinkle of Sorcery out. This is the second book of, uh, written by Michelle Harrison. Her first book was A Pinch of Magic. And I got there also the year, and I'm so excited to read this book. That's a middle grade book, has a fantastic, look at this fantastic, fantastic title. And I can't wait to get started with this book sometime later in February. And then the last book I still have open on the my yarks is a book that comes out later this year on the 28th of April 2020. And this is a non-fiction children's book. This It is entitled Ocean Anatomy, written by Julia Rothman. It's provides information on anything that has to do with the ocean and I'm so excited also to have a look at it, see what the images are made up of and then also provide you at some point with a review of this book. And then two weeks ago I started to read another YA fantasy book and this is Talon by Julie Kagawa. I'm catching up on what she wrote previously to the Shadow of the Fox series and this is the first book in her YA series about dragons who take human form in order to survive and the order of St. George, George's who is sworn to hunt them down and kill all of them. And in this first book we have the two main protagonists, a female dragon and the male dragon hunter meeting up and then we see what happens there. Loving it so far. It feels a little bit like, yeah, okay, things possibly it's, you would write things differently in 2019. This book came came out, I think, 2013, 2012, 2013. Um, but I'm loving it. 2014. Yeah, six years ago. Um, yeah, it is an interesting series. It has it has good representation uh, with, within it of not belonging, of starting trying to find a place and trying to fit in. And I think that is a very interesting storyline. At the same time, I also started to read An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This is the first book in her Ember Quartet series. In some ways it is an easy read, but the amount and level of violence in this book, in a YA book, I am really astonished. It is tough stuff that is presented in this book. But then anyway, I'm still reading it and I will see what I think about this first book in the series um once i finished it so that's what i've been up to these days i'm curious to hear what are you currently reading are you finding joy or are you just trying to find something that interests you at all please let me know in the comments below anyway i thank you for watching have a good time and talk to you soon bye